It really hasn't helped Activision in the big game, at least in terms of the stock market. Look what has happened to the stock over the course of the last five years for Activision, Activision Blizzard. Uh, Call of Duty, one of the sort of tentpole franchises for this company, but really, stock hasn't done much in all that period of time, and I think it shows you um, what this one game does not a company make, although it's so important to this company, it's kind of assumed it's going to be good. But you know, those numbers today gave us some, uh, seemed to give us context, because only a year ago, the company released uh, Modern Warfare 3. Well, Modern Warfare 3 versus Black Ops 2 out today, 400 million is, uh, I'm not good at math, but 400 million is less than 500 million. So you'd think, so that's 20% better. The difference is, this year they gave us worldwide numbers. Last year they gave us only numbers for North America and the UK. So we had US, Canada, UK last year. This year we have worldwide. They've never given us a direct comp to let us know what the difference is, but it's probably, some analysts look at this and say it's about 20%. So really, we're probably looking at flat year-over-year -year releases, but these are very big numbers indeed. I am no math whiz, uh, but what's 100 million between friends? Right. Why does it keep getting bigger and bigger, though? Well, one of the reasons it keeps getting bigger and bigger is because this, this franchise is so big, as I mentioned, but also because uh, for the, the installing base of consoles, for them to put these games into, uh, is larger than it ever has been. We are as long in the tooth as we've been in a video game cycle since the days of Pong. The new hardware machines are just not out yet. The result is an, an existing franchise that's been really good on the existing uh, hardware platform has a bigger place to go into. People who own these machines can buy this game and, and expect a similar experience as the one they've had before, and there's never been as big a platform to go onto as there is today. That'll be different if next year there's a whole new set of platforms. I mean, but to put it into perspective here, what's the percentage of total sales? How much does it actually count for? We don't really know, so they don't tell us, but we know this is very important to the company, uh, not least of which because it sort of opens doors for other products to be sold, as well as to sell these, these things. But as I mentioned, if it's flat over year, year over year, that's not really going to be a lot of growth. Again, we don't know what the final numbers are, we just know the first day. If uh, World of Warcraft is just flat year over year, that's not obviously growth. But I think one of the most important things here ultimately is going to be the ratings of the game. How good is this game? And thanks to the folks at Meta Ratings, we have an idea of what these ratings look like for this new franchise. So these are the different, the different franchises, whether it's uh, uh, the, the World at War, or, or, or Modern Warfare, or you know, all the different versions. This latest version on the far right there, at 83.9, is actually one, the, the meta score, the average score, uh, and that's according to Metacritic and with help from the guys at Longbow Research, shows us that this is actually one of the worst rated, albeit highly rated, uh, one of the worst rated games in the Call of Duty franchise yet. What is that, teenage boys rating that? Uh, probably okay. old farts like me who will play the game all weekend long, though I will not.